I've been very interested in doing work on eels for a long time. It's just since it's been listed as a species of special concern and now it's, it's uh, listed as threatened um, that there's been money available to do the research that we need to have done. We've started back in 2007 looking at eel habitat. We're fortunate in the Bredore Lakes that eels are found, you know, quite widespread. We find them right here in the Bredore Lakes. We find them in the Bereshwa Ponds, which are the coastal lagoons that are that connect to the Bredore that are aren't as salty as the Bredore and aren't as fresh as, as the, the rivers and they are also found in the rivers to some extent. We started looking at, at sort of the habitat and we were able to get some of the shoreline around our First Nations communities here in Cape Breton um, mapped and identified um, in terms of eelgrass, sand and gravel. We're finding some interesting differences between um, the type of habitat that an eel lives in and the growth rates. The difference seems to be those eels that live in freshwater systems seems, seem to grow slower than eels living in saltwater or brackish water. We're also finding very different growth rates from one watershed to another. That's not just freshwater, saltwater differences that may have a lot to do with uh, nutrients that are actually available in that system. The eels in the Bredore eat a variety of things. Uh, most often what we find in their nearshore environment, what we find in the eelgrass and in the algae is what they're consuming. So we found some um, Atlantic silversides, some amphipods, small fish, you know, big fish eat small fish. Eels seem to make uh, quite a lot of forays or um, movements between fresh and saltwater habitats. So I think there's selective foraging to a certain degree, but they're likely opportunistic. They're going to eat things that they find in front of them for the most part. A top predator in the aquatic ecosystem, like the eel, is basically opening up opportunities for a wider range of uh, uh, organisms to, to coexist. The sexual maturity is definitely highly variable within eel populations. 42 years was the oldest age of a, uh, an eel found to date in Nova Scotia. Some eels may live longer than that. Uh, we're currently working on better estimates of age uh, for our particular region. The 40-year-old eel was from the Marguerite and, and the ones in the Shetta camp that, that she sampled can barely get to be 20 years old. So we're finding um, a lot of variability from one system to another. There is an awful lot that we don't know. It's exciting because it's not um, black and white in terms of the answers that we're finding scientifically. Mm -hmm.